Fuzzy Bird. Today we gather our warriors to take on the Dark Army in Kingdom Rush 5 Alliance. This is a series of tower defense games that I haven't played since the very original, but I had a ton of fun with it, so I'm excited to try out this newest addition to the series. In today's episode of Zebra's Arcade, a series where we try a new game every episode. Let's get started. It's been a month since we arrived in this land, looking for our lost king. After he was banished by Ve Veznan, the dark wizard, we found a, a place to set up camp to recover our strength. In peace. Uh-oh, maybe not for long. Whoa. But it seems that is over now. I'd like to continue. So we're being attacked straight away at this camp, and here we are. So as you can see right over here, we can go ahead and click this, and build a tower. We can build Royal Archers 1. Let loyal until the very end. The Royal Archers protect Linarian forces from afar. Just go ahead and put that right there. Time for target practice. And it seems like they're ready. The pigs are gonna start moving in from this way. Click to call the wave, incoming wave, Hog Invader times two. Here we go. So if you don't know what a tower defense game is, basically we build up these towers and defend against all these enemies moving in. Pretty simple concept, but the more enemies we defeat, we'll earn coins, which help us build up more defenses as more enemies start moving in. This was a pretty popular game series and still is, and I really enjoyed the original. I remember killing a lot of time with it way back when it released, like over 10 years ago, I think. It was really cool. Earn gold by killing enemies, and here comes another one, so we can knock them out too with our archers. And you might be some more, some uh, or familiar with some other similar tower defense games. Bloons is a really big one that we've definitely played before. Don't let the enemies pass beyond this point. All right, so they get all the way over there. We're gonna be in trouble, so we need to build up even more defenses soon enough as more hogs make their way in. Whoa, what just happened? Uh, somebody's coming in. Here, build a barrack. So we can click this right here and build out something else. We got Paladin Covenant 1, fierce and dedicated. Paladins work hard to protect the kingdom from danger. So we can click this one. Cleanse the land. And they're coming in to help fight. So now we have both ranged and melee warriors fighting off these pigs, and they'll be stuck in place trying to knock out these sword fighters. So that's pretty good for us, because that means that they're not moving any more forward. But we do have to be careful because our soldiers will lose health as well. Keep going. We believe in you. Oh my, we got the puns as well. So now that we're going farther into it, we can also uh, get more Towers figured out. We also have something here. Enemy info, Hog Invader. Filthy and disorganized troublemakers. The bulk of the wild beast army. They have low HP. So yeah, we, we have to set things up pretty fast. As you can see, it's actually gonna time down. So let's try another tower here. Arcane Wizard 1. Well versed in the art of magic, these wizards are always ready for a fight. So they attack very slow. Ooh. And then maybe we could also upgrade. We can either sell the tower or upgrade it, but it looks like the upgrades are sort of not available yet. Special unlocked, call reinforcements. You can summon additional troops to aid you on the battlefield. Reinforcements are great to stall enemies. How do we do that? Right down here. So a new power has been unlocked, and I can call reinforcements right there. For the Alliance! Whoa, cool. So all these soldiers helping out the Alliance. They're gonna knock out even more of these pigs. And that just sort of is like a special move on the bottom. That's on cooldown, so I'll have to keep that in mind. And we're zapping away here with the arcane tower as well. That's pretty cool. But where we set up our buildings and how we upgrade things is going to be the huge part of strategy that matters for actually winning rounds like this. So far, we're doing pretty well. No upgrades available at the moment, but I can set up another tower over here. Maybe we will do more archers? Standing you can see the that ready. they can't quite reach. You can see the green circle is their range, but if they were to push forward, we could probably try to stop them, and we could just get more in. Hero unlocked, whoa. Hero at your command. Heroes are elite units that can face strong enemies and support your forces. Select by clicking on the portrait or hero unit hockey spacebar. Shows level health and experience. Click on the path to move the hero. Heroes get experience every time they attack an enemy or use an ability. So where is our hero at? Oh, here he is. Okay, so we just wanna, oh, we can like click and drag you Faster over to these win. guys. So we have like one big unit here. I can also Hold them back. get more Alliance fighters. We also have another new power here. This is Arrow Storm. Showers an area with arrows dealing damage to enemies. And I'll try my best, whoa. 
hold on. <laughs> Link. Let's get you over here. And what abilities do you to have? The king. Uh, okay, it looks like you have a sword and a bow. Could I get him like over? No, he has Always to be in the path. Target. Gotcha. Well, everybody's fighting here. I'll get in what I can so that we can continue the fight, but we're doing really well so far. This is cool. You can see how complicated this can get as more enemies start to make their way in. Soon enough, we'll have different types of enemies that might do different things. That's also gonna make it a little bit more complicated. Here we go again. I'm just gonna send in more because we can't upgrade these towers yet anyways. So hopefully we have everything we need to just keep everything defended. And I think I wanna set the Alliance defenders up like right here. That way it's sort of in the middle of these three. So they're getting attacked from all sides. But there is a new enemy here. This is the Tusked Brawler. More tenacious than the invaders, outfitted with janky armor, always ready to to rumble. Low armor. And we can zoom in a little bit, which is nice, because uh, I definitely want to get some more of the details in here. This is like the one thing about the game is it's definitely a lot of small, tiny details. So trying to really get in there. So we can rain down some arrows over here. Ooh, knocked out a good couple of them with that. That's awesome. But our heroes out here, Working pretty hard. Faster than the wind, don't blink. We can make him move around too if we wanted to. Uh, I'll hold off with that just yet. The more of them are marching in. I don't know if there's like a button to speed things up at all. We can also just play with the keyboard, which is pretty neat. Right here. More of these pigs trying to come in here, but I'm not gonna let them get past this spot. But if they do end up getting past this bridge, I'll probably want to set some things here soon. I want to wait and see that. I don't want to spend all that money, and it turns out I don't really even need it. Okay, we got him. And, ooh, that's gonna be it. Learning the ropes complete. Finished the tutorial with three stars. Cool, hurrah! Looks like we won. Oh no, Vesnin? Easy now, I come to propose a deal. After what you've done to our kingdom, King Dennis's eyes need to be opened. Huh, what does that mean? You refuse to see the danger infesting the kingdom. But let us find your king and put an end to this threat together. Whoa, so this is what it means by an alliance. Both good and evil coming together to take on a greater threat. And whoa, what is this? Uh, new tower tri cannon and new tower level, level two. So we'll be able to have a new tower and upgrade previous towers. Cool. So there's our first stage done all the way down there on the bottom left. And it's opening up another path to this one. Let's zoom in a little bit. You can see we completed this one. We could go again at a higher difficulty if we really, really wanted, but instead of doing all of that, uh, I do wanna check out, we have a new tower here. Lots of information here. Navigate through the different towers. Uh, use each slot to equip your towers. Drag to switch their order. Equip new towers to try out different combinations and level four skills. These skills are available once the tower reaches level four. Okay, so. I guess we only have so many towers we can choose from and with them different upgrades. Interesting. Okay, well good to know. Uh, for right now, I don't wanna get super into the details because I wanna keep playing. We also have our different heroes here. So navigate through different heroes. Hero points, earn hero points by leveling up each hero in combat. Equip, equip the heroes you want to use in the battlefield. Hero powers, use the hero points to buy and improve powers for your hero. So for right now we have Vesper, and then there's plenty of other heroes to unlock along the way. Very cool. So we'll do that soon enough, but right now it's all about Vesper, who's proficient with both sword and bow. Vesper won his place as commander of the Linarian forces after Linar or Linar yeah, Linaria fell and King Danas disappeared. He gathered all the troops he could and started a crusade to bring back the former ruler. Cool. And there's different upgrades here as well. Upgrade points. Earn upgrade points by completing campaign stages. Use points to purchase upgrades for your powers, towers, and heroes. Well, we're just at the beginning of everything, so all we can really do, I think, for right now is play another level. This is two, the Guardian Gate. Be alert, word reached us by, us by Wisp. The heart of the forest is under attack. We must go back and help the Ab Arboreans. Some dark army forces will join us on the battlefield, so keep an eye open. We might be in the same boat for now, but that could change at any moment. All right, gotta be wary as our previous foes become our familiars. Here, here they come. I'll help your puny forces. I mean, one of my best soldiers will do it. Ha! Whoa. So who are you? I think you're one of the other heroes. Let's do this. So who is this? This is Raylan, 
and it's a new hero, so we can just choose between two of them at the same time. That's pretty cool, so I can send Hardly a match. Raylan over there, and then Vesper the over this way. That seems like a pretty cool idea. And the first set of enemies are coming in this way, so it might be a good idea to maybe just do a ranged attack somewhere. What if we did ranged here? Just say the word. And then melee here. Smite die, evil. And then maybe sort of the opposite here. Melee here and then ranged we here. Die Time for post. target practice. Seems like a good setup. All we really have to is that Link from the Legend of Zelda over here? <laughs> it looks like it. He's suspicion. All right. Well, I love the art in this game. That's one thing I really do like about it is it has all these really tiny details all over the place that you could really appreciate. Really cool. And the more enemies are gonna be moving in that way, which I'm a little bit worried about, but hey, we can also rain down some arrows. We have a new ability here. This is Command Order. Summons a Dark Knight to help to the battlefield. Whoa, okay, hold on, hold on. Do that, and then a magic thing here. We have a lot of money, we gotta make sure we use it, but at 120 coins, we can upgrade other stuff. So, a lot going on, I don't wanna waste any time. But, what's this over here? New tip, Commander Troops. You can adjust your Barracks' rally point to make units defend a different area. Select the rally point control, select where you want to move your soldiers. That would be really helpful, so that I can make sure that they're defending Prince things. The uh, you have my permission right where the rangers can actually reach them. And same thing over here, really. Uh, in the meantime, For a lot of enemies coming in over here, so I want to do that. And as we earn up more coins, I hope that I can just, uh, you know, try out some other stuff. I don't know if these guys have abilities yet, these heroes. It doesn't seem like it. I don't see a button to press for it. We're doing okay. If I really need to, I can summon one of these guys. Whoa, and they just come in and start slicing and dicing. I think the first thing I wanna upgrade is probably some some rangers, maybe some soldiers, but it's only 100 coins. So, we'll see. As more pig army people come in, we can get royal archers too. Uh, loyal until the very end, the royal archers protect Linarian forces from afar. Um, okay, so it's the same description for level two. I'm gonna do it over here, actually. There we go, so we got level two upgrades. Sending these guys in. Then, oh, whoa, these are new enemies. These are cutthroat rats. Cunning and devious by nature, the rats are keen assassins and infiltrators. They have fast speed and turns invisible after hitting an enemy. Whoa. See, with different enemies comes different strategies, right? We gotta be careful of that. I'll send in some more soldiers to help. Oh, I see them. Hold on. Oh, rain down the arrows. That certainly changes some things. Here comes some more of them. Definitely a bit concerning. How do I wanna go about this one, then? I mean, I think for right now, if I could save up coins to improve either the archers or the soldiers. Um, uh, these guys are coming in quick. Okay, let's do that. Set up some more soldiers over here. Like that. Let's fight away more rats because they are coming in quick. And then from this side, I probably want more rangers. We need more coins to do that. Wait a minute. I see you over here. What are you doing? Get out of here. Whoa, whoa. The tree also helps defend. That was so cool. That's good to know. Is that like a limited time thing? I guess there's just like environmental benefits like that. I really like that. Okay, more enemies are coming in. I think for right now, if I could just save up coins to upgrade some stuff, that'd be great. I think I upgraded this before. I, I might have upgraded the soldiers before I did the rangers. Uh, we need 100 coins for it, so still waiting it out. I think we'll be okay though. And uh, there's a Lion King reference over here too. There's so many fun little references. Oh, Circle of Life, attend the presentation. So if we click on stuff, it actually does like little achievements. Okay, don't get too distracted though, because there's plenty of enemies coming in. I need to rain arrows on the rats, get some friends to help out on this side, and upgrade these rangers. There you go. The tower visually changes too when you do that kind of thing, which is pretty neat. Just clicking on all these little guys. I don't know if doing that actually helps us at all, or if it's just like a fun little thing to do. Seems like it's just a fun little thing to do. Okay, more rats popping up, we need to fight them. We are getting a lot more coins. I'll do this for now. I don't know if we get a benefit for spawning in more people sooner, but I hope we do, that'd be nice. Let's get 100 coins for the Royal Archer Sue over here. What do you think you're doing? We'll get the big guy to stop you. And then maybe I'll get him over here, just to maybe focus on two people at once. Okay, so that seems a little bit better. We need 120 coins to upgrade these guys. Ooh, you know what, let's just rain arrows. Right there, knock all of those dudes out. That was great. 
get more backup over here. Upgrade these soldiers. We really needed that. Oh, and what's going on here? New tip, armored enemies. Some enemies wear armor of different strengths, which protects them against non-magical attacks. So as you can see here, the Tusk Brawler has armor, so it protects them from uh, sword fighters and archers. Armored enemies take less damage from marksmen, barrack, and artillery towers. So that's why it's good to have more magic buildings. I wouldn't mind getting a second one set up somewhere. Maybe just like right over here. And then rangers there, that might be better. Well, more troops are making their way in. I'm gonna set this up here. And it's 150 to upgrade that, it's pretty expensive. So I think it's smarter to get another one here, the arcane the wizard. Oh, oh, did you get a fish? You got a rupee, look at you. Did that actually get me money? It said plus 25. That'd be cool. Whoa. Whoa, the big guy over here too. Let's read about him. This is the Bear Vanguard. Big, broad, and bad. They tear enemies by, or tear their enemies by the dozen. High armor gets enraged when a bear dies nearby. Oh my, look at this dude. So he has a lot of armor right down there. Another one's coming in. So once one gets knocked out, it's gonna make it dangerous for the others. I'll go ahead and get these guys over here, I think. And definitely right now my goal is to Faster than the wind. Move these two closer, unarmed. actually, because they're not really even helping where they currently are. Don't blink. And I'll send, I guess, more over this way. There we go. Arrows raining down on this group. Wow, they are charging through like it's nothing. This is a little scary. Upgrade the magic tower, and then get you over here. I need some help, for sure. Uh, if I can get to 120 coins again. Uh, got a boot over there. Interesting. Yeah. Get this to help out, too. Upgrade these guys, bring them up a little bit more. Just get whatever backup I can, but the rats are coming in too. Uh-oh, we need rangers, if I can afford it. I don't know if I can. This is so much. Oh, our soldier, our, our captain, hero, whatever it is, got knocked out. This is getting really tough really fast. And that's where I do want to say, I'm not very good at these kind of games. I can definitely struggle from time to time, but you know, I have fun with them a lot of the time too. So at least that's good. Oh no. Let's. Help out with this. He's gonna freeze them all. That was really good. Rain the arrows on top of the bear. 150 more coins to upgrade this magic tower too. Lots of fighting going on. Our hero's gone. I guess he just doesn't Always come back. So that's definitely something to be careful of. To die. Hold on, hold on. Stop the these guys and then I get you over there to help fight that. This is pretty intense so far. We need to fight away these guys. Hardly a match. Come on, keep fighting. I think we got them. Awesome. So you can move you back up here. You have permission to die. <laughs> so brooding. Uh, I don't know what I want to upgrade just yet, but we'll keep an eye out. This mission just keeps going, but this is the last wave. So if we can just give this everything we got, send the soldiers here and really keep everybody trying to beat up these bears. And I just need a little bit more money. Oh, what did you get? Yeah, that did give me money. So I guess there might be little environmental things like that to keep in mind that upgrading them will really help us. Okay, ready. Arrows raining down right there, damaging the bears a little bit more. More soldiers here. Make sure that she's helping. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh, soldiers. I need soldiers here to fight those little rats. I'm doing what I can, but there's so much to set up. Oh, and our one hero's back. Not with a ton of health, but where is he? I think he's over there. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Yeah, and if we could keep everybody at this one sort of combination of the road, that makes a big difference, for sure. Okay, um, fight that route if you can. And do any of these have the ability to get upgraded? It looks like we're maxed out. Whoa, wait a minute, we do have the tri cannon I haven't done. A devastating love song to the warfare and the fearful sight uh, for enemies and allies alike. I have not used this at all, I totally forgot it was there. Okay, get everything here to fight these bears. It's the last round. I think we got it, I think we got it. Rain some arrows on him too. Maybe that would have been helpful as if I remember that we had the tri cannon. Always. All right, there we go, we win. And we didn't take any damage to our, our tree, I don't think. So there we go, three star victory, that was awesome. So what's gonna go on now? We're back out here, we get three cards. We get upgrade points times three, a new hero, Raylan, who we just played as in that level, a new tower level, level three. That's amazing. Well, it looks like the next level's popping up right down this path. Nice. 
So our third level is right over here. But before we check that out, we have our new hero right here. This is Raylan. The imposing Raylan lives to lead the Dark Knights at the Vanguard. Her brutality and relentless relentlessness earned her Viznan's recognition and the Linarian's fear. Always ready for a good fight, she was the first volunteer to join the Dark Wizard's ranks. Awesome. So, definitely good to get some new friends joining us, even if they were previously enemies. So we have a different set of upgrades to choose from here. We have things like War Rations, increases the health of all tower units by 10%. We have Know Thy Enemy, Heroes attacks ignore 10% of the enemy's resistance. Master Blacksmiths improves the reinforcements' attack damage and armor. Courageous Stand. Each Linarian Tower built increases the hero's health points. And then Merciless Defense. Each Dark Army Tower built increases the hero's attack damage. So we can sort of tend towards one of them for a bigger benefit. I think we'll go with these three for now. And we'll see what that might upgrade to later. So we can reset that at any time if we need to. I don't think we unlocked anything else we need to worry about for the time being. So let's head into the third level, the Heart of the Forest. We made it back to the Heart in the nick of time, but the Wild Beasts are already passing through. Look at alive and fortify your positions. Protect the Heart at all costs or the Forest and the Arboreans will surely perish. All right, well, let's be careful. Try to get another win. Here we are. So. It looks like enemies coming in from this way and from that way. I'll have to choose where we want to deal with them first, but I guess right here. I'm going to try the tri cannon out in the front. I'll call in the enemies here. Oh no, did they wait, I called that one. They came in from here, huh? Alright. Um I think Oh wow, they really do come in from both ways. Oh, I I thought I was choosing. I see now. I'm not choosing. But instead. Okay, you know, where are my heroes at? I have a hero Always here and a hero here. Let's move them forward a little bit more. Set up some range attacks like that, and then more foot soldiers over this way. Oh, one, one guy got by, so I'm just gonna do that really fast. I'm looking around at the environment, is there anything to interact with? I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> right now, I don't want to get too focused with that, especially when there's other stuff to be doing. Oh wait, did I set up, oh, whoops, I did not mean to do that. Here, sell this one and do range targets there. So that was not the advantage I wanted to take. Get this here. Oh, is that supposed to be Winnie the Pooh right here? That's cute. All right, uh, they defended things. I'm going to move you forward a lot more since you're a limited time unit. And then the Rangers upgrade them. Oh my, definitely tough to choose. Okay, what we should do where? But for 200 coins, we can upgrade the tri cannon. It looks like you're doing something to this tree over here. There's a lot of cool stuff going on. All right, we got you guys over this way. Gonna move Hardly you a little bit more up, just like that. Range attack some of them, and then get this here. We need 120 coins, but what's going on up here? Enemy information. You can review enemy information anytime by clicking on a unit and its portrait. So you can click here to reopen. Um, cool. So I already know about these guys, but if I wanted to re-see it, I just click that. All right, uh, what's going on over here? I'm not quite sure. Whoa, what is this about? Whoa, I love the interactable environments. Clicking that just made a lot of attacks go out, which is awesome. Uh, more enemies are coming soon. I think we just get this out here, just like that. I almost have more money, hopefully. Yeah, I need you to get over there fast because they are running over like nobody's business. Maybe I'll set up a wizard tower over here too. I think that was a good idea. I need you to fight the bear. You I need you to go up this way maybe. There we go, get the Alliance fighters to help out I because that bear is not gonna be fun to deal with later. So both sides of this tree need to be defended. And stuff like this, it's crazy. It's just so much going on, but what else? Magic resistant enemies. Some enemies have different levels of magic resistance, which protects them from against magical attacks, like this turtle shaman. Magic resistant enemies take less damage from mage towers. And that's what we have here, turtle shaman. Peaceful looking, but mean spirited. Shamans keep the wild beasts patched up and ready to fight. Slow speed, high HP, magic resistance heals enemy units. So some enemies are resistant to magic, some enemies are resistant to physical. Gotta keep a good balance of everything if you wanna survive this. And then have this set of guys move up a little bit. Range right here, I unfortunately missed the turtle. It's not what I wanted. Okay, so these two are trying to beat up the big bear. I'm trying to get 200 coins so that I can upgrade this thing. 
especially since it has that long range. I get all the physical guys over here too. Okay, I need to move my one hero away. Ah, before he gets knocked out, that's a problem. Let's get you back over here. And then, boom. Luckily, at the same time, this guy's popping up and I can have him help out. Here, get maybe more range over here? I don't know what to do about this. Hold on, hold on. Get them to fight, fight. Oh, this is tough. This game gets super challenging super quick, but it's not really the kind of game, like I said before, I'm like super crazy good at, but I'm definitely, definitely trying. Okay. Help out with this, help out with this. Oh, my guy disappeared. Oh, one of them is gonna get through. A good couple of them are gonna get through here, it seems. Let's get another mage tower over here and really try to zap these guys then. That might be enough. While that's happening, you know, more mess is happening over here too. You have my permission to die. Okay, so they're going away. I have 52 coins at the moment. And I can set you guys up right there. Maybe move them over just a little bit. Man, this is crazy. This does not stop. I am unrivaled. Okay. Need some more money, these rats. I think this one's just gonna get through. Unfortunate, but I need to set up some more stuff here. Get them to fight. Get this right here. Wow, there's so much going on. It's really hard to keep up with. Um Yeah, I don't know too much more I can do here. I can upgrade these rangers, but I also need to upgrade the magic. I need to upgrade this thing. Maybe this being a front runner tower wasn't the best idea. I should have gotten more mages up there. Here we go. These guys need to help with these guys. I don't know what's going on with that. Bring it on. Okay, so we lost somehow. You can see we're down to 18 on the top left, but that's not too big of a deal. We can make that work. Smites thy evil. Okay. Uh, let's see what I want to do here then. Keep these guys here, upgrade this, and have them fight. I think that's our best bet. I hope that this guy respawns soon. He's just on the floor. Always on. Okay, he's back, he's back. I need them to fight this. Okay, ready? Rain some of the screen stuff on everybody. Get rid of some of the bears. That was fantastic. A two for one situation. But we definitely need more money. I'll get you out here. I'll get this guy here. And then move these guys over here. I might do a range attack on the rats because they go invisible and that's such a problem. And then more help on the bridge maybe? That seems like a good idea. So much going on, but as we're fighting through this, I would love to hear your thoughts on this game so far. Have you ever played a Kingdom Rush game before? And if so, do you think this is a good one? All that kind of stuff. I would love to hear all about it. Um. Oh, we have enough, upgrade this. Nice, okay, hold on. Don't let these guys pass, maybe. I'll have to see how that goes. Uh, all of our heroes are fighting. That's good to see. I need maybe some more physical soldiers here just to really hold those guys up. Yeah, because if I can keep them right here, that's gonna keep them in between these two towers and taking damage. Uh, we're five out of 10. There's so much to survive here, it's crazy. I'll move those guys up as far as possible. I'll put this here and make sure that my heroes are fighting. I oh, they can't unrivaled. reach that. Okay, what's going on with this? This is a new enemy. Patrolling vulture. Looking for carry on. Vultures follow the wild beasts everywhere. They're flying. So only ranged units can damage them, I think, is the thing. So let's go ahead and do that. They don't seem to have very much health, which is good, but still, tough to knock them out. And I gotta be very careful of that, because they're all moving in right now. Okay, so as more of them make their way in, what do I wanna do about this? I don't have very many coins. Well, I could do this just to clear them out. That certainly helps, it certainly helps. With each one we defeat, we get a little bit more money. I'm not seeing any kind of like thing to interact with that might give me money as well. Because we had that before with Link. Well, it seemed to be Link. Most of us just feed some money to, oh no, <laughs> they took a nap. Uh, How do I want to do this? Let's go ahead and upgrade Astounding. this magic tower. And, whoa, wait a minute, what's that? I found like a symbol. Are there more of those? There could be, I'll have to look around. In the meantime though, I gotta focus on the mission. There's a lot more to survive here. We're only on round seven out of 10. I'll go ahead and rain arrows on this guy. And here comes a big bear too. So I think we will move these guys up this way. 
set up one of these dudes too, and then really bombard the bears if we can. That seems like a pretty good idea. Where are our heroes? We got a hero there, and the other hero's out here fighting. Okay, so we're fine with that. Seems like everything's all well and good with that. Oh, some Always are moving forward time. though. I don't like that. So, the Alliance fighters come out, but unfortunately, uh, our one hero got knocked out. Whatever their name was. Okay, you guys just front run up here. There's such a huge amount of forces coming in. Keep them here, keep them here. Okay, here we go. If we keep them all clustered up, this will certainly help quite a lot. Rain the arrows down on the big guys. The more bears we defeat, the more of a problem they become, and that's what's scary. Okay. Um, I am unrivaled. Is upgrade this magic tower, just like that. And then maybe more soldiers out here? I don't know. Maybe we do another one of these tri cannons. Because I can't upgrade again with a lot of these without it being super expensive. Come on, fight that bear, fight that bear. Everybody get out there. And then, where are you at? You're over here. Could I just get you to run over there and help? Because that might be our best bet right now. Is this guy's just gonna keep walking? He doesn't even care? Wow, that sinks. Always on target. Where are you now? Faster than I have no clue where he is at the moment. There's just so many enemies, it's crazy. We lost some health there for sure. Uh, I'm going to upgrade this tower. Just make it a super powered magic tower over here because we clearly, clearly need it. Oh my gosh, it just won't stop. Okay, um, here. Get this here too. We got a lot of money, but it's just not really enough. We're down to 14 health. This is so crazy tough. <laughs> All right. Um, and then the incoming wave, I think, is our last one. No, it's the second to last one. It's a patrolling vultures again. Oh, we're losing our soldiers everywhere. What do I do? Um, let's get some more soldiers out here and really try to hold them up then. I might not make it here. I'm really trying now. Fight him, fight him, fight that bear. Uh, I am boom, have enough for that. I need to hold this until I really need it, I think. Hardly a match. Okay, is there any ranging towers I can upgrade? I'm not quite sure. Here, do this one then, because I don't have as much firepower over this fight. Always on target. So this is max upgraded then, so is this. This is not, but it's very expensive. I don't want to use this move unless I really clearly actually need you it. Have my permission to die okay, I think I do need it because we don't have too much over here to stop them now. This is pretty crazy so far. I'm just trying to survive it. Here, can I upgrade these guys? Yes, I can. That'd be huge. This does have another upgrade. This is 160. I can definitely afford that soon, man. Oh, mighty, slay 500 enemies. That's pretty cool. Glad I can get some kind of upgrade. Another ranger upgrade. That's the first time getting it to tier three. This is a bit of a concern. I think, yeah, they'll be fine. I think we got it, actually. We're okay. Okay, now this is the last wave. We gotta give this everything we got. Whatever upgrades I can afford. Whew, this is tough. We're down to 11 health. Things could certainly go bad here if we're not careful. I wanna go with these little rats first, just like try to knock them out however I can. Get these guys out as far as possible too. For right now, I got almost all the, no, I have all the tower spots occupied. I'm just trying to level them up now. Get that big guy spawned in there. Try to knock out this turtle. I need a lot of money here but I almost have enough. Let's go ahead and upgrade these soldiers straight away so that they can swing and knock these guys out. Okay, cool. This is feeling all right. I think we're gonna be okay. Get this here. And where's our current hero at? I'm not really sure. Don't blink. He's over there. So I might have him help out with this stuff. A bunch of arrows down this way. Oh, here we go, here we go. Boom, that makes a big difference for sure. Because those rats are trying to zip over. Trying to make sure that doesn't happen. And then get these guys over here. Nice. It's so much. It's so very much. We're doing okay. I think we got it. Okay, get this hero over here. And then she's knocked out. All right. So. 
That's another one. I think we just did it. If we can just knock out these turtles. Should be able to do without an issue. Cool. So there we go, we won. That was a really tough level, but we get the victory. I don't think it's gonna be three stars. Yeah, just two. That was still pretty cool, pretty intense. And as you can see, oh, we get a couple more cards. This time we get upgrade points, a new hero, Nairu, and level four to our towers. All right, well, that was definitely fun. As you can see, this game gets very, very challenging, but you know, we could keep going here if we wanted to. Here's our new hero, Nairu. Uh, this cool like wooden sage kind of character. We got some upgrades available as well. So that was our first little look at Kingdom Rush 5 Alliance, the first three levels. There's still so much more to get through. So if you guys want to see more, you can definitely let me know if you want to see this be turned into a full series. But yeah, like I said before, let me know your thoughts on Kingdom Rush 5 Alliance and the Kingdom Rush series in general. And with that being said, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of Zebra's Arcade. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.